Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today is the final day of the chameleon cell, the technique of the week. And I'm gonna be uh, trying to maybe go from one corner to the other diagonal and not cover the entire canvas. I think I always work on a 16 by 20 canvas and that's a lot of area if you wanna cover the entire canvas with the chameleon cell. So this week I was really trying to help not only myself learn what to do with the chameleon cell, um, but also help teach you guys maybe or you know give you a few things that you might be able to work with to help yourselves do the chameleon cell better as well. So today I'm going to uh, the things that I'm going to change from the last video I'm definitely going to make sure that I don't drop any oil on my canvas and two I'm going to try to keep a little bit more paint on the canvas that I thinned it out a little bit more this time um, and I used Floetrol again, in case you guys are curious, I used Floetrol instead of my normal glue mixture. So with all of that, let's do some painting. And I almost forgot you guys, please stay till the end of the video because I will be drawing what technique I'll be doing next week. So let's see how thick this is. Okay, let's see if you can see this. See the purple? Where's, there it is. So that's about good. That's a little bit more than I had uh, on Wednesday. So I think that will be good.
Oh, you guys. This chameleon cell. It's, um... It's so tough. Like, I am really not sure. Because you can't see the top of my canvas. So I'm not sure what's happening here or here. It's almost like maybe I had too much of the uh, the oil on the toothpick. So I'm trying to decide what to do. Just leave it and let it be part of it. These chameleon cells did not bring it down here. So they, they're there. They didn't form as nicely as they did on the one on Wednesday. But otherwise, this painting is so, so cool. I don't want to put chameleon cells all over the whole thing and ruin some of these really cool things going on. Oh, I obviously dripped in a couple spots somehow there is a decent amount of paint on the canvas but if i spin this cool blue spot will go away possibly this really cool orange spot up here hmm like this is looking so cool i really really wish that some of these other spots like i mean they're not horrible looking so if you have this happen it might just work let it let it work with you, with the painting. All right, so I was getting ready to move it over to the spinner and then I started tipping it and it actually started looking pretty good. So I, I think I'm gonna try to tip it first. Let's try some spinning. Okay, you guys, I think this is where I am going to stop and let this dry and see what happens. This part's looking really cool where the cells stretched out and then it's like they stopped and then started stretching out again over here. And so if you look back, it's almost like there's a clear line right here, almost like it's a ball. It really kind of reminds, makes me think of a disco ball for some reason. And then these colors mixing together are just super, super cool. I cannot wait to see what this turns out to look like dry. I'm actually even okay with these interesting white spots that ended up happening along the edge. Because it's on both corners, kind of works out for me. So, all right, I will bring you back in just a second when it dries. So here it is dry, you guys. This one is an interesting one, to say the least. Not exactly sure how I feel about this one. I love these parts. These are so cool. And the cells are okay. Maybe I just didn't pick the right colors this time. I am still learning what colors are good for different things and maybe this mixture of colors just wasn't wasn't meant for the chameleon cell but let me know what do you guys think about this one all right you guys thank you so much for watching that video and watching me try to learn how to conquer that chameleon cell maybe maybe I'll get it next time this is a tough one the chameleon cell I have no idea what the secret is because Day two and three, I kept my paints pretty much exactly the same. I tried to add more paint, 
or you know thin out the paint a little bit on the third one but it was pretty much the same and I got completely different cells so I really haven't figured out the secret to that one yet it was still fun but let's see what we've got going on next week Oh my gosh, I looked at my list of all of the ones that I haven't done yet, and transfers was one. I was like, Ooh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but we're going to do it anyways, and um, let's learn how to do a transfer. So uh, come back next week and join me for the technique of the week doing transfers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.